So this is the fourth video in the assembly of the OB 1.4. Uh, in this video we're going to be covering the assembly of the gantry and uh, putting in the linear rods and completing the printer. So now we're going to uh, assemble the sides and the gantry. So to do this we need, for each side we need a 330mm extrusion and we need a 297mm extrusion. So what we're going to do is we're going to assemble one side with a gantry um, and with the, the brace on the middle of it. So for that we'll preload the, the bolts into the bottom section again as we have done before. And then we're going to insert the, the vertical. It's going to go through this, this piece. No, well, actually won't. And go through the other one. That one. So the vertical piece is going to go through this piece as well. So we'll pre-install all the nuts and, and fit this to the piece before we put it in. So there it is, all pre-loaded with all the nuts. So now we're going to... Um, I'll put the diagonal in first, which is the 297mm piece. So that comes up through the side in here. Like so. Now this one also has a, an end screw, so we'll put that in, the end doesn't need tapping, just goes straight in the end and tight, tighten up. For that piece, all six of the screws. Then we're going to slide it onto the upright, like so. Um, I'll just nip one of those up just to stop it falling off. And what we'll do is we'll actually slide the upright further up so then we can slide in the diagonal first. So starting with the diagonal corner first. Just knit that up and then the slide. Then lower the vertical one into the, the centre position. Just take your time with this piece, you don't want to rush it. It's, uh, there we go, it's finally slipped into position. So on a flat table, you should be able to eyeball that up with it straight or not, and if it's not, adjust the top one until you get it into the straight position. Pretty much right there. Just tighten up all the bottom clamp, the gantry, lower gantry screws. Now I'm just going to check the uh, horizontal position of it too. Um, you want that gantry to be exactly in the middle. Uh, and in fact it's not. I see on this one it's not exactly quite right. So I'm going to actually slightly... So this is where we can loosen the lower Z mount screws. And just let it slip over a little bit. I can just feel a little bit of tension in the upright there. Which it shouldn't have because all the angles are correct. Loosen that and let it slip over just a little bit. This is also where, being the open beam, you can easily slide things around a little bit later on. Yeah, that's actually moved over to the correct position by itself there. So that's good. Just that up. So the bottom of the gantry uh, vertical should be centred exactly in the centre of that side bar. If you get that right, and then if, as long as it is actually upright, which it is, then everything should work. Right, so now we go around and tighten up all the other ones, which are the corner ones. And then same again on the other side. So, take the middle piece, preload it with bolts. So you know it's there because it slides right down to the bottom. When it's at the bottom, just nip it in place. There'll be no point in trying to look. There we go. So when it's roughly in position, get it approximately square with the square. Making sure it's hard down, tighten everything up in that corner. Now recheck the centre measurement. Make sure the gantry is actually in the centre. 
So hard down there, tighten all the screws at this bottom end. So go around and tighten everything up now. And now we're going to put the top rail across. So for this we need the, the long one which is uh, 455 millimetres long. Um, and the, the two ends. Just like that. Now. So now we Flip it onto the end of the rod. So then it's just a simple matter of uh, installing it on the top, which as always is going to be tricky with all the nuts. check the width too, it should be um, 330 between these two uprights, uh, sorry, from the outside of the upright to the outside of the upright, because it's the same width as the base, just 330, so it should be 330 here as well. We should also be able to add the vertical uprights, the 10mm rod, and I'll loosen those, loosen those clamps. Because these rods will actually add, add strength and stability to it as well. Slide the rod in from the top. Straight through the bottom ones. Now of course you still have to take these off to put your X ends and stuff like that on there. But I'm just interested in getting the structure together for stability at the moment. be straight to the bottom. Same on the other end. So tighten those clamps up and this will rigidify the structure somewhat too. So put YX or axis rails in, you need to take off um, two of the ends. Doesn't really matter which two you take off. And then slide the rods through between the two extrusions. Just fit. It's a pretty snug fit. I mean, it is designed to be exactly 8 mm and push it all the way through into the one on the opposite side. And then when you put the clamp back on, that holds the rail in place. <laughs> 